Hi, I'm Tom Aikens, so thanks for joining me for today's Cook Along as part of the Cambridge at Home experience. I'm really happy to be able to play a part in supporting teachers around the world in these very difficult times. Today we're going to be cooking a great British classic dish, fish and chips, good comfort cooking. I hope it all gives you a really good lift at home if you are still in isolation. So here we go, let's start cooking. So we're going to do the chips first. So what we're going to do, I've cut these chips into little fries. You can of course, of course do big chips if you want to do chunky chips. So we're going to put them in the oil and we're just going to blanch these first. This is around 140 degrees, okay? So we just chuck them in there, get them frying. And those are going to take about five minutes to blanch, okay? So we're going to leave those in there. In the meantime, we are going to make that batter, okay? So here we go. So for the batter, very, very easy. We have egg white, we have flour, sparkling water, some salt, and olive oil. Now, with a lot of fish and chip batters, you can put yeast in there, you can put beer in there, but we're keeping this as simple as possible. So with ingredients that I hope all of you will have at home. So that's why we have no yeast, that's why we have no beer. But if you want to add yeast, you can add that. If you have beer, then adds a bit more extra flavor. So first off, we whisk the egg whites. If I start whisking these, I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in there because that helps to stabilize the egg whites. So we're just gonna whisk the egg whites until they're fairly stiff. So this is gonna take a couple of minutes. So with the egg white, as I said, we're going to get nice stiff peaks. This is going to then make a lighter batter. And then by the time this is done, hopefully the uh, chips will be ready and we can start the batter with the fish. So this is your egg whites, they're nice and stiff. Okay, so we'll just quickly check the chippy chips. So we want to get a little bit of color on there, not too much. I think it'll be another couple of minutes. Okay, so to the batter. So what we do first is we have in here, we have plain flour, sparkling water. So we just whisk this to a smooth paste. So we're gonna mix the oil and the water. So this is an olive oil. So 
the olive oil, the olive oil will slightly thicken it as well. So we add the sparkling water. So we basically want to get the consistency like sort of double cream. That's what we're looking for. And then we're going to add egg white right at the end. Water. A little bit of salt. A little bit more olive oil. Okay, so now we add the egg white. So we just fold that in. So that's our batter, very simple, and a little pinch of salt. Okay, so you can see it's like the consistency of like thick pouring cream. Okay, so let's check the chips. So. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna blanch them lightly. So those are about ready now. So I'm gonna stick them on the plate and then let that get hot for a minute and then we can start our fish. Okay, so the fish will take around three minutes, depending on the size of the fish. Three to five minutes in the hot oil. So I've got two sizes of fish here. Just so you can see, we've got a nice sort of flat piece here. Okay, and we've got a slightly thicker piece here. So this one is probably gonna take about sort of three, four minutes, and this one's probably gonna take about five minutes, okay? So, so the fish that we're using is, uh, is a lovely British fish, which is cod. Okay, and always when you do your batter, what we do, we just want to, I'm just gonna get the egg on here, just get, get the rest of this in here. Yeah, so when you do your batter, you just want to test your batter into the oil, just to make sure, A, that the oil is at the right temperature, and also the thickness of your batter is not too thick. If you have it too thick, then you're gonna end up with a really thick coated of batter on the fish, which will make the cooking of the fish a little bit more uneven, okay? So, good way to test the batter, drop it in, Okay, you need a little bit hotter on that. Not quite hot enough. So we just have to wait a few minutes. Okay, so the other thing we're gonna do is we are just gonna lightly flour the, uh, the fish. So when you do this, just first off, we're gonna give the fish just dry a little bit. Okay, just on a bit of kitchen paper. Okay, then we put our fish into some flour. Okay, and then we can put that straight into the batter. And we can get frying. Okay, so I've seasoned the fish already as well. Okay, so fish is floured. Let's check that butter looks good. Yeah, oh, it's crispy, crispy. Okay, so here we go. So what we're gonna do first, we'll do the thicker piece first. So when you do your batter, just drop it in. Just make sure that it gets nicely covered.
We uh. It's always nervous when you're doing your batter by eye rather than measuring. Okay, so let's do the next one. So fish in. Okay, straight in. So now what we do, we just leave those. I'm washing my hands. Okay, so we leave those to get cooking, as they say. Okay. So what we're looking for is a nice, crispy piece of fish. And judging by, look at that, how nice crispy the batter is, it's going to be a good batter. So as soon as the fish comes out, we're going to season it lightly, let it rest, and then... Look at that, looks good. Should have been a professional fish and chip shop maker. Looks good. Happy with that. So this is a very quick and simple and easy dish that we do all over the UK. It's one of the most, I would say, traditional dishes that we all love. And you can use many different types of varieties of fish. So we've got cod in here. So you can use anything from like skate, you can use hake, you can use pollock. Preferably sort of any white fish that you have. You can try with salmon, but the best is using the white fish. So I'm just going to turn those over as well. Okay, just give them a little turn over. You can see, don't do this at home. Fingers in your oil. Yeah, that's probably a good thing as well. I am a chef. I have very, uh, how can I say, burn free fingers. So you see these little crispy batter bits? Those also are quite traditional that we serve them in the fish and chips. They're quite nice. We call those scraps, batter scraps. So once the fish is ready, as I said, we'll lightly rest it. And then add our chips. And that's that. Very simple. So the other thing that you can serve with this is a tartar sauce. So a tartar sauce is a very traditional sauce that goes with it and a complement. So it's mayonnaise based, and in that you have chopped capers, chopped parsley, some gherkins or cornichon, and a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. So it's kind of like a sharp acidic sauce that goes with it. And it kind of takes away a bit of the sort of greasy richness of the, of the fish and chips. Okay, so what we'll do, take these out now. Okay. And then we're gonna dunk in our fries. Dunk them back in. Okay, and then we're just going to crisp those up. And then we'll put a little bit of salt on now. Okay, so these are going to take like a couple of minutes. We're going to drain them on some kitchen paper. Just so it soaks up all the grease. Okay, so the chips that we're using, the potatoes, sorry, the potatoes that we're using are Maris Piper. Okay, so if you want to do these chips thicker, so we call them pont neuf or chunky chips, you probably need to blanch them first in boiling salted simmering water for about 10 minutes. 
So if you want to do a chip that's about a centimetre squared and as long as the potato is, blanch them in water, take them up to a simmer, cook them for about two minutes and then drain them and then let them cool. And then what we call those is triple cooked chips. And then you cook them exactly the same, you blanch them in oil, 140 degrees, and then we finish them again in a hot oil at around 180 until nice and crispy. Okay, so these are coming up nice and crispy now, as you can see, look at that. So with these fries, they only need to be cooked twice. So you're blanching them in the oil, and then after that, you then finish them off hot oil at about 180 degrees. And there we go, very easy. I wouldn't say that, listen, this is not about the most healthiest dish, but it gives you protein,